Hi everyone, it's Cardinal Smith here with another episode of Football Manager 2013 Let's Play. And as I said last time, we're here for the my first cup game. It's Northern Irish League Cup first round, and it's against Tobermore United, who are in the v division above us. So I'm expecting a pretty tough game. I actually wish I had live streamed the last game, however, um, since beating title favourites Dundella. We introduced, we uh, welcomed Annie United, who you may remember defeated us, or I think, in one of the previous episodes. And we beat them 4-2, which is a pretty good result. Um, we Goals from both up front, Sean Southam and Mark Kelly, again, both getting the score sheet. Uh, Stephen Campbell, the PC winger, getting his first goal for the club, and an 8.5 performance. And then I, I swapped Kingsbury for young 18-year-old Ryan Gourley, who proceeded to score a 35-year, a 35-yard free kick, which sent us 3-2 up. Needless to say, I was pretty excited by that. But today's game, Tobermore United. Let's find out where they are in Division One, first or the first division rather. Come on. Tobermore are top. <laughs> okay, only two games played though, so I mean they might just be in good form right now. But but either which, I mean that is that's that's not helpful. That <laughs> I that is not good. So I'm playing the same team that won four two against the Anna United, and uh, because I don't have a game for the next few days, so let's get into the match. Same 4-4-2 for formation that's uh, done me well so far this season. It's pretty, you know, it's there's not a lot of fussing around with it. Alright, they're trying to pack the midfield with a 5 in there. Uh, so let's just see how we start the game. And see how it goes and we'll, we'll change our stance if needs be. Campbell on the ball, blocked out by Hamill. Okay guys, hoping for a Big performance. It's at home at least, even though they are tough opposition. So Southam's in the box, crosses all the way to Garley, gets a tight angle shot away, but just cannons back off the post and out. It's a, it's a good effort nonetheless. So, just in the first 10 minutes still coming out of that, looks like we're dominating possession in the middle of the park, which is pretty good to see. Uh, they are playing five in midfield, but it's a flat line, so no defensive midfielders, no attacking midfielders, no one in those gaps. And I think that's probably what's given us that advantage in that I have deep line player, you know, midfielders. Uh, so Gourley uh, out in the left wing here, taking his time, a long ball through to Campbell, who's not really a great passer, but Kelly is a great finisher, and he picks him out, and from just inside the area, bangs it into the top right-hand corner. Fantastic goal. That puts us 1-0 up. 10 minutes to go with the first time. Crooks with a long range free kick though. And just like that, the game can change. 25 yards out from Crooks and uh, levels it up. And I guess that's the kind of quality, you know, when you're playing a higher division, you got to look out for. Ooh, that's harsh. Just not long before half time too. But we're still in this game. Looks like, you know, a massive attendance of 56 fans for this game. Not great. It's not the biggest cup competition. You know, we're, there's still the Irish Cup to come. But, uh, you know, he's still he's still won a good cup run this season. So, unfortunately, John McSorley seems to pick up a knock. Um, you know, his condition's pretty low for half time. So, I'm going to bring on uh, Hampton, who's a pretty reliable player for me. Greg Spears, my new left back, is my best left back by a distance, but he's on a 6.1 right now. I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him 15 or 20 minutes, see if that, that improves. And if not, I, I'm going to need something more solid back there. But let's get into the second half. Come on, Bambridge. Garley with a free kick in there with Cobb, who somehow walks it into the net. It's like he just left the defense for the opposition defense for dead. I mean, was it offside? I don't know. It's his first goal for the club. It's only his third game for the club. Uh, the goalkeeper didn't know what to do. It puts us two one up. 
I don't care. <laughs> Uh, but it is 63 minutes. I said Craig Spears would have 20 minutes. Um, granted, his performance has proved up to 6.8. That's a lot better. That's what I like to see. His condition is pretty low, however. Um, I might just leave him out a little longer. I'm not going to interfere right now. So they're beginning, bringing a couple of subs on. Bit of fresh energy. 70th minute. I'm going to bring a sub on. I'm not going to wait any longer. Ryan Gourley... Playing well, but, you know, per fitness. Uh, Kingsbury's going to get his game. Um, who else? In the fans, you know, Craig Spears. I've been talking about them this whole game. Uh, so let, let's just make that, that sub happen. Um, ben, ha ben Murdoch is not a left-sided midfielder or defender, but I don't have a lot of options. You know what? If I can swap him with... Uh, I need to go into tactics and change that. You know what? I might just leave it. I might just leave it. And you know what? I'm going to tell them to, uh, to cool off once it gets these changes. Yeah, let's just shout. Take a breather, lads. Let's calm the game down. We're two one up. This is tough opposition. They've already, you know, scored direct from a free kick. Uh, so, but they don't seem to have many, you know, you know, in play chances. Uh, five minutes to go, though, and a possible upset in the cards here for the town. Three minutes at a time. This is it. Kelly with a long ball through the south of them. It's it bouncing around the air. Burnside plays it to Hampton. Back to Ferguson. He puts it all the way up the pitch because he knows the ref is on the final whistle. And that is a 2-1 victory for Banbridge Town. It takes us through to the second round of the League Cup. Excellent. And you know what? If uh, if even if this leads to playing a you know one of the pr bigger Premier teams, say we get Linfield at Windsor Park, you know big stadium, uh, hopefully you know a few thousand fans, you know that's all profits. That's stuff. That's the kind of games we need because uh, I you know the Bridge is not a pretty is not a lucrative club, and let's just take a look around. Uh, a few other. Any other upsets in the cards? Uh, League One teams being other League One teams. Uh, it doesn't. Do you know what? There was no Division Two team. Uh, there's no other Division Two team beat a Division One team. So I think that sets a pretty good precedent precedent for uh, the start of our season. Banbridge in control as well, and it's this uh, Watson wants first team football. Watson, I think, is one of our backup goalkeepers. And, you know, with handling 7, reflex is 9, pace 2, work rate 1. Uh, I'm not sure, son. Um, you're, you can, you can leave if that's what you want. Yeah, I'm pleased you've seen sense. Fine, I, I don't, I'm not bothered, not bothered. So, fixtures wise, that's the uh, first, comp three competitive games of the season have all ended in victory. This is a pretty good start to the season. Next up, Bally Money United, just relegated from Division 1, should, and it's away as well, so this should be a pretty stern test. Another stern test, my add. In terms of the next game, um, let's see, we only actually have two games in September, um, which is pretty strange, uh, but I'm sure there'll be another cup game. Uh, you know what? We'll see what happens. If another cup game, I'll come back from that. If not, I'll maybe skip a, a couple of games and show you... Uh, well, maybe Bally Clare, Porch Church or something. But uh, anyway, that's it from today. Great start to the season. Looking pretty strong, like I said. The board still expects us to win the league. Would I want to disappoint them? All right. Peace.